ball back and Tampa Bay is in the Super Bowl. Wilbon, does LaFleur deserve all the heat he is getting? Yep. He played scurred. I mean, you know, dude, if you're going to be scurred, get a dog. I mean, you're, in the, you, you're playing for the Super Bowl. And you got the, the, the regular season, that's all we had that, to vote on, MVP. You got the MVP on the team. This is such an NFL head coach's decision. Let me guide you guys to victory in the formula I see fit. No, give the ball to the players, dude. Give the ball to Aaron Rodgers. And by, by the way, Aaron Rodgers was not great yesterday. Everybody keeps saying he wouldn't get to the end zone with that run to the right. The hell he wouldn't have gotten to the end zone. And if he didn't, he'd have gotten to the one or the two, and then you can play fourth and goal from the one or the two. So Aaron Rodgers did not have a great game. But I am giving the ball to Aaron Rodgers on third and fourth downs. That's what we're going to do. We're going to play it differently. You didn't have to throw it into the end zone there. So, yes, he, was, he played scared. It was ridiculous. And, you know, now Aaron Rodgers, and we'll get to this in a bit, he's going to go bye-bye. Okay. We'll get to that in a bit. Yeah. But let us go over the four most important plays in that game. The first one I want to talk about is the terrible, terrible defensive laps at the end of the first half yep. where you should be in a Hail Mary defense you shouldn't be singled up on a wide receiver, and that makes it 28 to 10. That's an unbelievable error on the part of the Packers' defense. Then, later, when the Bucs get the ball back, there's the pass interference call. They hadn't called that all day. They hadn't called it. Hadn't. It gives Tampa a first down. They get one more. The game is over. Now let us go to the third down, as you're alluding to. Rodgers with the ball. A lot of open area on the right-hand side. Should have run. Even if he gets to the four, it changes the fourth down play and then the inexcusable fourth down kick for two reasons. One, he is the MVP. He's not some guy. He's the one guy in the league that you want with the ball in his hands at that time and you took it away. And two, even when you get the three, you still need a touchdown. That's you still right. need it. So go for the touchdown yes. there. And if you miss on the two-point conversion... You still you have still enough time, field goal, but you got time to, time to get the yes. ball back. Now, let us go yes. to one other thing. What? One other thing, Mike. As I've been telling you all year, ever since they drafted Jordan Love, moved up to get him with the first pick, Aaron Rodgers has been fueled by hate, and it gave him a great year. Is that what he's saying Now I'm week? saying, and I'm, I'm sure you're going to agree with me, he has played his last down for the Packers. It's over. Yep. When Aaron Rodgers says at the end of the game, I thought I was going to get four downs, that is irreparable. It is. Done. It, it, yes, we, we agree on that. I just, I'm surprised. And they had that great ground view. The ground view for people at home is not the same as the ground view that Aaron Rodgers is getting. But he's got two defenders from Tampa leaning on Lazard. They're, lean, they're in the middle of the field, leaning the wrong way, and he's already in motion. And he, you know how he can fake, and he can freeze whatever defender yes. he wants. He's yes. so clever with yes. the ball and his movement of foot. I thought, oh, my God, Rodgers is going in. They're going to win this game. Ugh. Ugh. New team, same result for Tom Brady. Brady's into his 10th Super Bowl, his first with the Buccaneers after the previous nine, of course, in New England. No other player has even played in seven, and no other quarterback, John Elway, has been to more than five. So does this lead you to give Brady more credit, more, for the Tampa Bay historic success? Oh, wait, I'm sorry, for the okay. Patriots' historic success. I just sort of juxtaposed. So when Brady went to Tampa Bay, I told you they would be in the Super Bowl. When they signed Gronkowski in April, I went on this show and I said the Patriots are going to be in the Super Bowl. And you laughed at me. You laughed the at Bucks. me out we loud. We keep doing it. The Bucks. Who's laughing now? I mean, the, I mean Tampa Bay. Who's laughing now? I am laughing now. Brady Gronkowski is laughing Gronkowski didn't indeed. have anything to do with it. Stop it. Your Brady. guy, John Elway, who you've said for years is the quarterback you think is the best you've ever seen. John Elway been a five. I don't care about linemen who've been a seven. We're talking about quarterbacks here. He's been a five. Brady's been to double that. Yeah. He has been to 10 Super Bowls. He's been a starter in the league for 19 seasons. One of those seasons, he was hurt. He's been to 10 Super Bowls in that period of time. And he had, at 43, the greatest year for someone of an age in any sport of all time. So to, to give him more credit, you can't give him enough credit. Yeah. So 
Uh, your point is what? That, you know, Tom Brady is the greatest and Bill Belichick because he didn't make it to the Super Bowl this year with no players and a quarterback who couldn't get the ball four yards down the field is a bum? Who else well, would, that you, was like, your bet who against else would me. you have liked Tom you Brady made that to bet. play for you were wrong. in that time? You think Tom Brady would have gone to that many Super Bowls, nine of them playing for Matt Nagy? If he had gotten it, nope. no, he wouldn't have. Nope. So he got there playing nope. for Bill Belichick. And that marriage was right. that marriage. And so, you know, Belichick, presuming he doesn't just up and retire, he will have his day to prove if he has a team that he can get there. Tom Brady deserves all the credit in the world. He's got, they both got all the credit in the world as the greatest coach and the greatest quarterback two or three years ago. So I don't need to plow this ground. I'm surprised you feel the need to. Here's what I want to tell you. Okay, and these are statistics that everybody can understand. Without Brady on the field, Bill Belichick's coaching record is 62 and 73. Not great. With Brady, 249 and 75 and 30 playoff wins, and that's why you bet on Brady. And if Brady were to win the Super Bowl and go through Breeze and Rodgers and Mahomes, have a nice day. Let's move on to the next story. Please. In the other Let's conference final, matters. Kansas City beat Buffalo handily 38 to 24. The Bills scored the first nine points and the last nine points. And in the middle, they got blasted 38 to 6. The Bills kicked four field goals, two from inside the 10, leading to some criticism that they should have gone for touchdowns. Wilbon, are the Chiefs this good or did the Bills have the wrong plan? The Bills had a fine plan. <laughs> it led to 9 nothing. They had a fine plan. They got fine players. They're not as good as Kansas City, Okay. They're not as good as Kansas City. They got anybody on their team nicknamed Cheetah? No, not that I'm aware of. They got number 10 on Kansas City, who even playing with a okay quarterback, just maybe a Pro Bowl level, not as great as Mahomes, would still scare the hell out of any defense in football. But with Mahomes, they're better. It's, it's Buffalo's job now. You know what their game plan should be? Forget yesterday's game plan. It didn't it matter. They have to go out and get a receiver Okay, to play opposite Diggs, and he, he has to be, if not great, really good, a field stretcher, somebody who's a compliment, and a big-time running back who can break a game open and or control the, the ball, possessions, one or the other, if not both. So the Buff there's nothing wrong with the Buffalo Bills, and anybody who finds need to criticize them today should shut up. You'd be a fool, particularly the people who said Josh Allen was equal to Patrick Mahomes going into the game. They should have their credentials taken away for that stupidity. Yeah, the Bills are a fine team. They're not as good as Kansas City because they don't have Mahomes. Mahomes is a wizard. He is the best football player on earth. You mentioned Hill. I would give you Travis Kelsey as well. Yep. The Bills don't have people quite that good. Josh Allen had a good game. He accounted for 375 yards. He's fine. They, they're just, they're not as good. Again, some minor statistics, okay? Patrick Mahomes they lost one game when he was on the field this year. In their last 26 games when he's on the field, the Chiefs are 25-1. and one. People got lulled into thinking because they didn't cover the spread, they didn't win big, that they weren't that good. What, is, what does Herm Edwards say? Hello, you play, play to, to win, win the, the game. Yeah. And they win all the games. They win the games. You know, They're better. There's only one person on this show quoting Vegas all the time, and it ain't me. So maybe... It's me. Some people in the attic ought to stop paying attention to Vegas. So now it all comes down to the defending champs and the Buccaneers in Super Bowl 55 in Tampa. It's the first time a Super Bowl team will play in its home stadium. It also pits the best quarterback of this time against the best quarterback of any time. Tone, your thoughts initially on the Super Bowl matchup are? Well, I, f I find it interesting that it will be a home game for a team in the Super Bowl, and it's never happened before, but there's only going to be 22,000 people in there, and we don't know how many of them are Tampa fans, and this year what we've noticed is that home field in the usual way doesn't really matter, so I don't know what that means. They played each other this year earlier in Tampa. Kansas City won that game. Brady is 2-2 two and two with Mahomes all time because Mahomes only been in the league an hour and a half, and they haven't had that many games. I will say this, Mike. I picked Breeze to beat Brady in New Orleans. I picked Rodgers to beat Brady in Green Bay, and I think Mahomes is going to win, but Brady's still there, so maybe you shouldn't listen to I'm me. I'm going to say what I said Friday. Why, why pick against Tom Brady? Just watch the game. I don't care about the damn picks. Not on this show, not on any show. Now let's go back to, to the field situation and fans and all that. 
I don't believe for one second there will be only 20 some thousand fans in a game in Florida. I believe we will look at it with our eyes. And like you and I, you live in Washington where you try to figure out how many people were on the mall for this speech or that speech. It'd be 40,000 people minimum in Tampa Stadium, whatever they, Raymond James, whatever it's called now. That's what I believe. And I believe that there is something of a home field advantage. But, but you know, I don't need to pick the game. I don't want to pick it. I'm not going to spend the next two weeks, the next fortnight picking it or asking you to pick it. We'll watch the game when it comes around. I will say this. We have not given any credit to the Tampa Bay defense. defense it's yeah. really good. New Orleans averaged 30 a game. Tampa Bay held them to 20. Green Bay averaged 32 a game. Tampa Bay held them to 26. That's what's giving Brady the ability to go down the field because he knows they can Give stop Give him the people. ability Let's to throw three picks and look bad and not have to worry. And maybe his defensive coordinator ought to be considered by some of these teams with no head coach worth a damn to be yeah. their head coach. Two bad picks, but 28 in the first half, and the other team never got to 28. Brady was great when he had to be. Let's take a break. Still to come are the Lions smart to part ways with Matthew Stafford. But Brady didn't have to be great all the time because his defense was. And his That's Deshaun right. Watson That's really right. set on leaving the Texans, as you heard here, no matter who. You call played. Brady the GOAT all the time, He's but the you goat. hate his guts. He's the GOAT. Everybody knows you I don't have to person. like him. Can you smell something funky? No. That's mail time. Uh, Let's see what's first mail time. on mail time today. Are the Lions smart to trade Matthew Stafford? you two weeks ago I kept saying the Washington football team among others should go get Matt Stafford because somebody's going to get him because he ain't going to be on Detroit where he made the pre playoffs like four times in 11 or 12 years you can do that with anybody and yet Matthew Stafford has big time talent that organization all right is a lot worse off than Matthew Stafford I mean Matthew Stafford I'd take and I'd say oh, everybody else you stay in Michigan so yes trading him seems like a good bet and going to get him, if you have a team around him, I think he's good enough individually to take that team and go. Yeah, Detroit didn't win with him. They didn't win without him. They're not going to win when he's gone. He had four winning seasons, I think. He never won a playoff game. But do you think there are people out there who would, might find value with somebody who's going over 4,000 yards seven times and over 5,000 yards once? I think so. In fact, let me name a bunch of teams. Indianapolis, the 49ers, the Patriots, the Rams, Denver, Washington, Philadelphia, New Orleans, the Jets, the Giants, the Steelers, and Houston. Basically half the league. What Detroit is doing is good. It's going to give Stafford a chance to play on another team and yeah. maybe win. And they're starting new with a new coach, a new GM, a new everything. Three they're times, new. three times in the playoffs, Tony. That's and by the way, San Francisco won't be available because that's where Rodgers will be playing. They won't need Stafford. What does it tell you that Deshaun Watson reportedly wants out no matter who will be coaching the Texans? That he thinks that the Houston management, the front office, somewhere between misled him and lied to him. And so, once again, I told you this last week, he's not going back there. And they think, of course, now that there are, let's be, let's be very frank about this, real talk. Now that they have 
multiple black head coaching candidates that are being floated, that are in mind, that the, the talk in Texas. Oh, we're getting a brother, therefore Deshaun won't want to leave us. And what it sounds like to me from people I've talked to is Deshaun has said, you people I can't trust because you say one thing here and you do another thing there. Your actions are different. So so I think Deshaun Watson will still go. I think that. What it tells me is that the hot stove league is going to be the greatest all time because you got Rodgers out there. You got Deshaun Watson out there. You got Matthew Stafford out there to a lesser degree. But what is interesting, you got Carson Wentz out there. And it also tells you that they've changed the way you look at trading or acquiring quarterbacks. For many years, people said, oh, I don't want to bring a new quarterback in. He doesn't know my system. It'll take him too long to acclimate. But when Brady at 43 went to Tampa and took them to the Super Bowl. That is the moment, Mike, like when LeBron said, I'm taking my talents to South Beach, yeah. and it changed the game. It changed the game. You didn't put Wentz in there, did you? You didn't really put Wentz in there, I did. I said to a lesser degree. Okay, much lesser. Enough email. Real lesser. Let's take one last break. Mighty lesser. still to come, Deuce Staley lands with a